Hi there, I'm Amy Ellis and this is So Modern Quilts. I'm excited to share the next block with you for the Modern Quilt Block series, but first I really just wanted to share a heartfelt thank you. Thank you for being here to sew with me each week. Thank you for your enthusiasm and excitement over this project that um, you've shared along the way. Your comments always mean so much to me and I really have had a blast with this project and in the midst of everything else happening this year, having this one thing to keep me going in my business and be consistent with has really been helpful. So no matter where you're at, I hope that you are healthy and well and enjoying some sewing time. So let's look at Tilted. This is today's block and I've been wanting to incorporate more angles for a little while and decided, uh, well, I came across this pattern as I was trying different ideas and really liked the layout options for this one. So make sure to stick around and see what you can do with just this block and a few others mixed in. My pieces are cut, so let's go ahead and get started. Here are my cut rectangles for Tilted and to get started we're going to focus on rectangles here and all of the instructions are in the pattern so make sure you follow those and we need to lay these corners over the top of each other and then mark a diagonal line. And so what I like to do is I make note of where the corner of the fabric is underneath just with a little pin dot and then mark the diagonal across on top. And we're going to sew on this line. A lot of times we sew a quarter inch away from the line, but this time we're going to sew on it and then trim away the excess. So there's one ready to go. And then the second one, it's very similar. Notice I'm laying the background fabric down first and then I'm laying the opposite or the, the darker fabric on top, right sides together. And I'm marking this, you can see here, the corner is just underneath here, so I'm, I'm marking it on my fabric here on top so that I can easily match it up with this opposite corner. And I'm just going to mark the both of these and then we'll, we'll sew on it and trim away the excess seam allowance. So I'm going to add a couple of pins so that when I move from the machine or from the table here to the machine, nothing rearranges on me. But it is it is just that simple to get the angle that we're looking for. So here are my chain piece units, and I'm just gonna snip those apart. And then I will use my add a quarter ruler to trim away the excess fabric so that we have a nice quarter inch seam allowance. And the reason I like this ruler is because this little lip on the back side catches on my seam allowance. So it makes it really easy to get that quarter inch seam allowance um, without, you know, having to line it up <laughs> too much. So, and there's the second one. And now we're just going to press these towards the darker fabric, but you can see we've got a nice 45 degree line there and it wasn't too hard at all. So now we have our pieces and we are ready to stitch some columns. I'm going to call them columns because they it's fairly straightforward at this point. We just need to sew these uh, angled units between all the rectangles. Just turn this one over here and stitch it down and then I'll do the same with the second one and then we'll do one more set of seams to put all the pieces together. Alright, so for this block we're pressing all of our pieces towards the non-pieced rectangle just to help things lie nice and flat and as I was stitching this quarter inch seam allowance, I just added a pin at the bottom to make sure that everything matched the, the way that I wanted it to. So I'm going to first stitch this one in place and then I will stitch the last one. This is tilted and I think you're really going to love some of the layout options that I have. So let's take a look. When I get really excited about some different quilt layout options, 
I start telling my kids, <laughs> they're teenagers and they really <laughs> don't care, but I like to share them with whoever's around and they're always around right now. So they were laughing at me yesterday, but I think this is a fun, fun way to use this simple block. So first we have tilted all by itself. And I like the way that the color kind of shifts and moves. It kind of dances together, you know, on this. So next I turn the blocks again and you get this on point kind of square with the angled pieces. And I love how those 45s stick together in the block. It makes it really unique. And then the, the last one that I have that is just tilted, you get this cool zigzag behind the kind of background fabric for this quilt. So I think it's fun the way that this works out. So tilted and positive is a fun mix of uh, blocks. There's a little extra movement with the diagonals or the angles that we've included. And I like how you can make the light or the dark go up or down depending on your preference. And then Tilted and Slide is the final offering I have today. And I just thought this was a unique way to put blocks together. The little square does match up a little bit, but then it doesn't also. So it's kind of unique in the way that they play together. And it just kind of adds a little extra movement to the quilt top. That's everything for today. You know the drill. There is a link in the description below for you to pick up your free pattern this week. And I would love it if you would give me a quick like and also share this video with your quilty friends online. The more the merrier, I always say. <laughs> so also hit subscribe if you haven't yet and that will just give you a little notification whenever a new video posts so that you can come watch it first and let me know if there's a favorite layout that you have. I know it's hard to pick a favorite, but sometimes it helps me to gauge interest and direction for future projects. So I do appreciate the feedback. <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will stitch with you again soon.